Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, August 29, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 28, 2023, our system has ranked Microsoft as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.17. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has performed better than our system predicted, with a gain of 1.46%. This translates to an average return of 0.73% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 3.33% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 7.24% and 4.11%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 48.64% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 36.53% and 69.36%. This translates to a price range of $448.39 to $556.20 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Green Day on Tuesday for Microsoft. The Microsoft stock price gained 1.46% on the last trading day, Tuesday, August 29, 2023, rising from $323.70 to $328.41. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.21% from a day low at $321.88 to a day high of $328.98. The price has risen in six of the last ten days and is up by 2.04% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 6 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 19 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6.26 .6 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $366.78, and the lowest price was $213.43. Currently, the price is 10.46%, or $38.37, below the 52-week high of $366.78, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, August 29, 2023, it was reported that UBS gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, August 25, 2023, it was reported that Oppenheimer gave Microsoft a outperform grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, July 25, 2023, it was reported that Piper Sandler gave Microsoft a overweight grade with a hold action. On Monday, July 24, 2023, it was reported that Goldman Sachs gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, July 20, 2023, it was reported that Guggenheim gave Microsoft a sell grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, August 18, 2023, and so far it has risen 3.77%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. 
This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Microsoft stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $332.05. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $323.77. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal 8 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 30 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 26 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 22 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 144 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Microsoft Microsoft finds support from accumulated volume at $328.39 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $7.10 between high and low, or 2.21%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.3%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 23, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $2.65. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft is at $337.77. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $328.39. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On August 4, 2023, Listeri conducted an insider sell of 91 shares of common stock. On August 1, 2023, Smith Bradford L. conducted an insider sell of 28,962 shares of common stock. On August 1, 2023, Smith Bradford L. conducted an insider sell of 21,038 shares of common stock. On July 17, 2023, Hoya Alice L. conducted an insider sell of 177,469 shares of common stock. On June 13, 2023, Warrior Padmashri conducted an insider buy of 175 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 86.430. Overall, insiders purchased 10,330 shares and sold 165,631 shares in the last 100 trades.
We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Microsoft holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, August 30th, we expect Microsoft to open down minus $1.99 and start trading at $326.42. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.